What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video talking about Town Hall 12 upgrade priorities, both offensively and defensively. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys what you should be focusing on as soon as you become a Town Hall 12 in order to have the best chance in war and to have kind of the best defensive strength and offensive strength despite the limitations of being a new Town Hall 12. This was a video requested by a patron on Patreon. Uh, if you guys are interested in the perks of Patreon, including custom war bases sent to you each month, Discord server access, and at the top level, uh, being able to request your own video topics as this patron did last month. If you're interested in all that, um, be sure to check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. But today I'm answering my patron's question of what to focus on at Town Hall 12, if you're a new 12, maybe you're rushed, maybe uh, not, but uh, you still have a lot ahead of you. It can be overwhelming and uh, where to start. So, of course, before I get into too many details, as with any new Town Hall level, laboratory, army camps, um, spell factory, although I don't think the spell factory needs to be upgraded as, as a Town Hall 12, um, that should be basic stuff. Upgrade, I think, one of your barracks if needed to unlock any new troops, although I don't think that's also going to apply to Town Hall 12. But you should get all the basic stuff that allows you to have all the new troop capacity, troop level upgrades, spell uh, capacity. That's the first thing you do at any Town Hall level. Uh, that's mostly elixir upgrades. Talking about buildings from a defensive side, because that's kind of more what people worry about, um, defensive buildings. The first thing you want to do at Town Hall 12, get that Giga Tesla maxed out as soon as possible. It does have a pretty big war weight, but defensively it is invaluable. Without it, your base is substantially weaker because the Giga Tesla basically forces a Warden's ability over a certain part of your base. And if you place your Town Hall correctly, which I'll, I've talked about in other videos for base building at Town Hall 12, um, just did a live base build actually if you want to check that out for Town Hall 12, but if you place it correctly, the Giga Tesla is very difficult to deal with. So that's the first thing you should kind of have your eye on defensively is getting that Giga Tesla maxed out as soon as possible. Um, Going to make your base a lot harder to, to take out. Next thing I would do is start to, and you can do this as you're upgrading your Giga Tesla because you have probably five builders. Um, start to do all the new buildings. Get all the new stuff built, including the third Inferno Tower. Um, reason being, people sometimes say, should I not drop the Inferno? Should I not drop these new buildings? Um, honestly, especially at Town Hall 12, one Inferno Tower is not going to really change your war weight that much if you're worried about matching with other clans and random wars. So I would just go ahead and drop the uh, the new test, or sorry, the new Inferno Tower, as well as all the other new buildings you get, and just start to slowly upgrade those. It should be relatively quick at first to the to the Town Hall level. Um, before you, try to get them to where your other defenses are, um, whatever level that may be. You may be rushed, you may be uh, a max Town Hall 11 that just upgraded, wherever that is, get those lined up with your new defensive buildings. That's something I'm a big proponent of at any Town Hall level, is get the new stuff up to speed. Um, once you kind of are starting to have basically a close to max Town Hall 11 base with the Giga Tesla, then I would start doing point defense such as Expos, Archer Towers, Teslas, and then Wizard Towers as well. The reason being, that is all stuff that targets air and ground, um, which is important because you need to uh, be able to defend both dragons as well as uh, ground pushes. And if you upgrade stuff like cannons, bomb towers, mortars, that, that should be the last things you upgrade because those will not help you at all against uh, an air push, which is very popular at Town Hall 12 especially if someone's trying to spam a lower level base like yours. So get that stuff done. Inferno towers aren't that important, especially if you're putting them on well, multi or single really. It doesn't make a huge difference. They don't do that much more damage when you upgrade them. So I keep the infernos um, at like Town Hall 11 level. The eagle, same thing. I wouldn't worry about upgrading it right away. Um, I would just try to get all that uh, air targeting stuff up and I I apologize for not knowing if there's an air defense upgrade at Town Hall 12 ahead of this video. I should have looked that up because um, I can't recall. And if there is, you definitely want to, to do that as well. Get those air defenses maxed out. But the air stuff uh, should be done. And then kind of lastly, this is getting a little bit beyond where you might be watching a video to help you. Then you're going to be doing, you know, Eagle, Inferno Towers, maxing that out. 
and doing the cannons, bomb towers, mortars, that stuff more towards the end is my recommendation. Okay, offensively, that's a big question um, as well. What do I do offensively with all these uh, upgrades I have the option to do? Well, of course, you're going to be wanting to doing your heroes as quickly as possible. Um, luckily, the Warden is upgraded with Elixir, so you can do him and the Queen at the same time, roughly, and then save the King for a little bit later. Uh, so that should be your hero priority. And then I would say the easiest thing to do is just max out dragons, max out your balloons, and max out your bat spell. Uh, starting with the dragons, balloons, bat spell, in that order. Um, and that will allow you to do drag bat attacks, which is something that can wreck a lot of bases, especially ones that aren't like totally anti three star, uh, thoroughly tested bases. You can take them out with drag bat. Doesn't take a lot of upgrades, only uses a few different troops. Um, easy thing to get maxed out to make yourself very powerful offensively. Also the hero levels aren't crucial, you're not doing any queen walks or anything. Um, then I would start to do the bow witch type troops such as uh, bowlers, uh, witches maybe, I do pekkas at some point. Uh, I start to get that typical you know, bow witch, pekka, army comp close to maxed out and then that might include doing wizards at some point, although I would kind of wait on wizards, not that important. Get like the main troops, which is mainly bowlers, pekkas, witches. Get that stuff maxed out for a um, for a ground type spam attack, more or less. And then, as well, you're going to want to uh, think about possibly doing uh, some of the support troops, like baby dragons, wizards, as I mentioned before, stuff like that to kind of that you aren't like crucial for those army compositions, but can uh, can definitely help if they're higher level. I would say don't fall for the E-Dragon uh, trap right now. Don't upgrade your E-Drags. Um, they do work against certain bases, but if you're trying to force E-Drags on bases, if that's the only thing you have maxed out, you're going to have a tough time because E-Drags are out of meta right now, especially as bases are getting better. Uh, so don't upgrade E-Dragons. That's my advice. Uh, don't waste your time. Do it later on after you've gotten some of the big stuff like Dragons and Bow Witch Army Compositions max level. Um, but that pretty much sums up my advice. Kind of a quick video, quick-ish, I guess. Um, don't want to complicate things too much. Um, that's what I recommend. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, unfortunately, if you're worried about kind of building weight, I don't have exact numbers on... I used to, but not anymore. Uh, especially at Town Hall 12, it's still kind of a mystery as to what each thing is weighted as. I haven't been able to find that information. Um, but I will say that once you're at Town Hall 12, you're pretty much going to be weighted as a Town Hall 12. So don't worry too much about building weight. Just try to make your base strong defensively. Um, it's not going to affect your matching that much since you already have so much other stuff upgraded that it's kind of a drop in a bucket, some upgrades at Town Hall 12. Okay, those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.